Gordon. Advantage over. Another go with ball in hand. Advantage is gone. Now it's back with the Blues. Taleta. We're going to get away. Taleta. Off and gone in the 21 jersey for the first of the night. Yeah, just giving it was just here. They had good numbers, just couldn't get it done. And once he scoops up and gets that left palm out on Feluai, that's it. And Mark Talaya. Andrew Callaway closes. Proctor here probably gets ahead of him too, overruns him a bit into that hole, sees it, goes to ground and shut the gate, missed tackle for all the setup plays and all of the attack. Adventure for the Blues when they get turnovers, they light up. The Rebels are going to be adventurous with the ball. They can't invite too much risk into the game. Step back, Rebels. Advantage. Oh, Clark in there doing the work of his forwards, getting Advantage. inches away from the line. So 2 2. Competition's leading try scorer. Rolls it out the back for the captain. Advantage. He's an inch short. Tutu calls it again. He's the debut shot with the Blues. I think it's Sheck. That low, it's almost a double movement. It's not far off, but he's just... This knees there, knees are on the ground and propels him forward. Hands behind! The Rebels Good. defending desperately here. It slips back. On come the Blues. Short. Hands behind. Slow to come here for the visitors. Gafasi pops it up, Stuto out the back for Naki. Lovely ball for Forbes. Forbes looking to stay alive. Forbes gets it away to Lea. Round his laces and then he locks them up down the right. I think I lost you. Yeah, to get it there. Rebels are good defensively. This is the spot tackle. And great hands from Talea. Too quick, too good in the corner. Daniel Tupo starts from one. Good on the left side, defender of the All breakdown right. and gets yeah, across this, this one came out. to the end of the line there. Shows you how short they were in defence. Look at him moving around the back here. Darby Lancaster doesn't stop man and ball. And Daniela Tupo. Tell you what, if he makes that tackle, he's a magician, Mark Talia. Well, it's the effort we want to see from... from Hands behind! Towards the line. How much longer can they hold on here, Melbourne? Hands behind. Relentless from the Blues. So 2 2. Wave Rob after hands wave up. of attack. Advantage. Five from the Rebels. Line. They fight for the extra metre and they get it down. Good. This would be the killer shot for. Stay down, 18. Melbourne. And all but secure a bonus no, no, point no, no, win no, no. for the Blues. Short, short, Papali close. close. No, lost it. Darry gets over but can't get it down the first time. But with a second effort, he gets planted. And still unable to get it going forward. Now it starts to move towards the line. Edging, here he goes again, short, short once more. Heem coming in, he has a go, and he's in, both him. Great try. Well, he's such a versatile player, but what I love about Bryce Heem is his timing with the begin to the line, when injecting himself at the base of that ruck and having that vision to go. Advantage, pillars offside. Another advantage though, they're yep. starting to again, build up eight. the penalties. Funaki, Lamb. Can't make it to the line. Funaki again. They're in this time. It's Forbes. Cole Forbes has scored. Being patient and then getting your big ball runners and finally they get an overlap. They had numbers loaded to that far side. Sorry. And it's Forbes that finishes. They're held up just short. Now they go to ground. Ball coming back for Funaki. They're under advantage. Plummer quickly through the hands. To the up. Cool as you like from Plummer. This time they go down. Knock puts it in the Blues. 
are going to ask the question of the Highlanders at scrum time. It's just screwing around a little. So Akira Iwani picks it up off the back. They wrestle him to ground. Caleb Clark's amongst the forwards, getting close to the line, but he can't get it over. Toonga Fassi has a go. They're close. They're over. Try to the Blues. What a great start. Led by Haig. Blues have the ball, though. Ta'aval quickly off the line yeah, to make the tackle was brought and they just don't want to let the Blues get ahead of steam up. Little change of tactics. The ball sits up beautifully and Cole Forbes is in. The kick through by Corey Evans was spot on. Gravitated really nice and close there. There was an opportunity on. Not sure who that was. It put it through. It might have been Plummer. Well executed. There it is there. And it bounces up nicely. In fact, it was Evans that kicked it. Found the gap. And bounces up. What a try, Ricky. Oh, the bit of skill from Corey Evans, because that was a dipping ball. He had to reach low for it. Dropped it straight on the toe. They get a throw a lot closer to the goal line. Darry pulls it down. More conventional this time. Here's Eklund in the back. And once again, they've got them under real pressure going backwards. Arm goes out. Wasn't. Eklund can see the goal line. Here he goes. Try. And the referee's well, playing well, advantage well, here well, to the Blues. Ta'avau again on the ball. Lamb goes in, frees it up. Ioane, nice handwork from the Blues forwards. And some space here. And a try on debut for Kay Banks. By Plummer, there it is. Really narrow are uh, the Highlanders. Clark hits away. Good defence here, but as they come back, there's some offside and some interplay between the forwards. And this wide pass from Eklund now, standing. Well, the assistant coach, Dan Hellinger, who said at half-time, want to see the wingers, no, the no, backs just, more no, involved. Caleb involved. Clark, yes. a good carrier wide and then just stretching. And he's a quality finisher, this young man. He was a breakout star in the NPC last season. Not a lot's gone his way, but when it has come, he's finished well. Yeah, what a moment. Oh. Trying to get away from Will Tucker, can't do so. Holding on defence as the Blues go through eight phases. Clark now trying to open them up. Caleb Clark, ball on the inside. Funaki! Try! And then you step up, they go a little bit wider. Nice little wee dummy there from Clark. An inside ball. Funaki always on the spot. Still have plenty of work to do. Yeah. Islanders, though, have the ball. And it is an intercept, and it's Caleb Clark. And they won't get anywhere near him. Yeah, and he deserves it too. That's Caleb Clark. Final six. Penalty advantage here for the Blues. And ten offside. Couple of offsides and a dive at the line. And the try is scored by Offatuanga Basi. And on the inside of Christian Leo Woolley. Well, the, the Blues, they are just thriving on the physical stuff this year. This is the 28th try they have scored. Hold on. McNichol. Hold on. Thumps it away down as far as Hirafena, where the whole thing started from. And off he goes again. Frees it up to Lamb. Down the left wing side, AJ Lamb turns on the inside of McLeod. Inside the 22. Blues looking dangerous again. Quick pass off the plumber. He came from a long way back, Harry Plummer. Funaki now, and the ball is across, and he's got a tackle off a Tuanga Fasi. Funaki, Tui Pelotu right out in front of the goalposts. Funaki again, long pass, a 2-2, away for AJ Lamb, and the Blues are in with 14 men. So it's an advantage again, as Fusi Tua made ground. Now they go wide. Straight out to Lamb again. Lamb's in. Second try for AJ Lamb. For a turnover, and when the opportunity to strike, they're just so very good at capitalising. He still had a lot of work to do, AJ Lamb, but he took on McNichol and beat him to the posts. That's what the Blues have done all season. They grind and grind teams down. And as you said, AJ Lamb, it was not an easy run and whatsoever. But he finishes it brilliantly and the Blues right back in this though. They probably could have scored a bit earlier. Sometimes players are just guilty of going by themselves.